The digital age may have brought with it several solutions, but it's also got in several new problems. One of them is e-waste and dealing with it. But now an Indian origin scientist, Veena Sahajwala, based in Australia, seems to have come up with a solution. Simplest definition, e-waste is any discarded electronic or electric device. With the rising disposable incomes and a consumer-driven approach, more and more devices such as laptops, televisions and computers are purchased and the old ones discarded. In the year 2016 alone, the total amount of e-waste generated was a staggering 44.7 billion metric tons. By 2021, this figure is expected to rise to 52.2 million metric tons. According to a report, almost 76% of all e-waste ended up being burnt in landfills, recycled in informal backyard operations or remained discarded in homes. Recycling e-waste has also emerged as a major challenge as it requires specialized equipment and technical know-how. Veena Sahajwala, an Indian origin material scientist who is now presently based in Australia, might have the answer to the formidable challenge of e-waste. She has helped launch the world's first micro factory for recycling e-waste. Here at UNSW Sydney in Australia have uh, recently launched uh, this month uh, the world's first electronic waste micro factory. And this e-waste micro factory is really all about understanding and developing both the science and technology that will underpin the transformation of electronic waste into valuable resources. So it's really around understanding how we might be able to tackle different types of materials uh, like plastics, metals, glass that are available to us in electronic waste. So rather than seeing it as a problematic material, um, a collection of different types of materials, we want to see electronic waste as a resource. E-waste is also extremely valuable. Precious metals like gold, silver, copper, palladium, platinum, etc. can be retrieved from the discarded electronic goods. A conservative estimate affect the value of the precious metals, which can be retrieved from e-waste at a whopping $55 billion. So can recycling e-waste to procure the precious metals from it work as a good business model? So ultimately, people who are already working uh, where the stockpiles are, where the waste stockpiles are, can actually take um, advantage of some of these new technologies, can actually work under uh, safe conditions and more sustainable conditions. And I think that's an important role that, you know, the, the, the business as well as, of course, the government leadership um, can, can play such an important role. Um, overall, it can, it can be something that might kick off um, a whole new industrial revolution in how the transformation uh, of waste actually takes place. In the present scenario, recycling e-waste due to the technical challenges has still not caught up in a big way around the world. But Veena Sahajwala believes that making e-waste recycling lucrative through cheaper technologies is the way forward. Bureau Report, Vion.